GoPro boat. I don't know if you can hear me, it's very windy here today. So this might not be the best video for this, what I was planning on doing. But, I'll try and give you a bit of a chat mate. So, today is Saturday, October the 26th. Saturday, October 26th, about 10 to 1 p.m. We're in the middle of our first school prac, two weeks in, feeling okay. Two weeks left to go. And then we're kind of done with uni for the year. So we're kind of feeling all right on that track. So we've been doing things for, okay, what's next? What's our next big challenge? So, because you're a cool guy, GoPro, you know that over the recent sort of months I've been getting into a bit of David Goggins and sort of mantra about life about how um, you know just because whatever you just got to fucking push yourself it could be whatever if you don't know who David Goggins is Google him first punch yourself in the face for not knowing you and then Google him yeah, because of that we've been doing more sort of running, more sort of pushing ourselves a little bit. So today we googled uh, Gold Coast runs because I've been going, yeah, six months ago I was doing yeah, five k's, 30, 40 minutes on the treadmill, nothing much. We've been, been increasing it, we've gone 10, 15, 20 k's. So I googled this morning um, yeah, Gold Coast runs because I knew there was an airport marathon a few months ago. That's a big Gold Coast one that's gone. But I was seeing if there was any other sort of yeah, organised runs, fun runs, some sort of cancer research or some sort of bullshit. And it turns out there's one on December the 8th, which is 45 days away from today. That's called the Gold Coast 50. The Gold Coast 50 is from Broad Beach, Coolangatta back again. So if you've got any Gold Coast geography, that's that's 50 k's. It's literally along the beach. That's a nice sort of run. I've sort of run along the beach anyway, so I've done like bits of the course, but it seems pretty interesting. And it could be like a pretty cool challenge because I think the furthest I've ever run is about 20 k's. But with sort of watching David Goggins motivational sort of stuff, it's like I don't I'll do it no justice in trying to explain what David Goggins and his videos do for me. But if anyone can watch them and it does for them what he's done for me. Yeah. Merry Christmas, all good to you. So today we registered for the Gold Coast 50. Paid the registration fee, and then we kind of shat ourselves. We're like, oh shit, that's 45 days away from today, and we're going to be running 50Ks. So I thought I might start like a bit of a GoPro video thing. So I haven't done too many of these because we've been pretty busy with uni and stuff. So I thought I might start one of these. Every day seems a bit silly. You don't go, oh, today's day 45, tomorrow's day 44, blah, blah. Well, I might do maybe like one a week or something. Just say, okay, yep, this is where we're at. This is how we're progressing going through. So today we figured it'd be, if I add it all up with my mats on my calendar, 45 days away. So 45 days to stop drinking, stop eating shit, train a little bit harder, like try and do some different tactics with some like longer runs, like some energy gels taping the feet, things like that, hydration, try and work out how we're actually going to get through this 50Ks. It's going to be massive, it's going to be a big challenge, but I think it's one of those reward for effort type things. Like I'm not going to try and go for a set time, I'm not going to try and you know, beat anyone or finish in the top, whatever. From what you know, David Goggins tell me, it's literally me versus me so my mom my goal would be to finish the race 50ks and the cutoff where they stop the race is like if you haven't made the 44 kilometer mark in like eight or seven hours so I normally run like 10ks an hour at the gym and that's 
like comfortable on the treadmill. So if I can do that, that's five hours. You know, rest breaks, have a drink here, have something to eat, take a piss, have a shower. And yeah, maybe six, seven, so I think we should be right. Like I should be able to finish it. But even if they cut me off, like Goggins he did a 240 mile race. Because he's a retard. And he got disqualified, but he ended up just finishing the race. So I figure in my head, I'll do what he did, does. If they cut me off, I'll just still finish the race, but I might not you know, qualify, I might not get a medal, but I'll still finish it. So that's the goal. The goal is to just complete it. It might be a walk, it might be a crawl, it might be longer than expected, but that's the goal. The goal is to finish the Gold Coast 50, which I think at 37, which I'll be at the time. 37, five years out from open heart surgery, eight years out from ACL, knee reco. Yeah, I think if I finish that, that'll be a nice little reward for effort. And then we'll look for obviously what's next after that. But I think so we've got 45 days from now till then to stop eating crap, stop drinking, and sort of ramp up training and trying to organise. So it's going to be pretty hot. It's going to be the race starts at like five, but if you're running in December on the Gold Coast at like 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock, you're hot and sweaty. So I think I might try and maybe do some longer runs in that sort of time of the day where it's a bit hot and sweaty just to get used to it. I'm trying to work out how the feet are going to go, blisters, things like that, hydration, all that sort of garbage. So I feel like I come to walk down here today, 45 days out, just registered. Kind of feel good about it. I was just watching, actually having a few Glen Little 12 year olds. I might be slurring GoPro, I don't really care. It's just you and me, buddy. Yeah, I was having a few drinks, watching some Goggins. Yeah, just thinking, yeah, it's kind of cool. But I kind of felt like a bit of a trick. So in my head, I'm like, okay, if I make a decision, I normally stick to it. So. <laughs> It might be one of those weird addictive personality type things GoPro. Like if I'm like, okay, this is what we're on, that's normally what we're on. It's kind of been a bit of a pattern in my life. Like if I choose to drink, I'll drink. If I choose to party and have a good time, I'll party and have a good time. If I choose to train for football, I'll train for football. So I think from tomorrow, day 44, we'll be training for this Gold Coast 50k out. So I know diet's going to change, no drinking, things like that. So I thought I'd come down to the bakery and get a little treat, have a coffee. I knew this, I haven't actually been here before. I drive past it all the time, walk past it all the time. It's a nice little water area, just near where I live. I thought this would be a nice place to stop up, have a bit of a chat. It's windy, you might not be able to hear me, I don't know. But yeah, just sort of centre ourselves, start this video off. Yep, okay, today's 45. What's that, six, six and a bit weeks? So we'll try and do maybe one 20, 30k run a week from now on in. Watch the diet, train a bit harder. You know, sort of try a few different things with the training, like on the long runs, try some, um, um, maybe try some gels protein powders, different things, different sports drinks. It's what I've been doing today, like with these marathons. You don't want to sort of change it up too much. So this is a good one to get into because I know the kind of the route. I've sort of done it before. But actually doing that run for maybe six hours, it might be having to change the hydration, work sort of what energy gels, things like that I need after an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, have that energy to keep going through. So I figure 45 days is enough to get that base. So I've been running for a while now, it's been a good year and a bit where 5, 10 k's is like the normal. I'm just trying to work out, work out whether we go to um, that next level and sort of working out how that's going to affect yeah, my body as well. Because like, open heart surgery is open heart surgery, you don't want to push it too far. but like even this morning, like without even knowing about this GC50 thing, 
I was up at 2 o'clock, went to the gym, ran for 12 k's, 12 k's, did a bit of boxing. Yeah, I sort of pushed myself, felt good, so I'm not in a position of going from 0 to 50 k's, I'm in a position of maybe 10 k's three times a week to doing this thing, so I've kind of got that inner belief, inner confidence of trying to know I can do it, it's just applying myself now. It's kind of good GoPro, it's kind of good to have these little challenges along the way, so it's kind of good GoPro, it's kind of good to have these little challenges along the way, so we'll see how we go. So this, I don't even know what this is, so this is fresh cream macadamia or something. So this will be our last little garbage treat thing. It's always good to have this sort of moment. I can't remember certain times where I've sort of given up certain things like, okay, that's my last drink or that's my last whatever and you sort of use, you use that as a bit of fuel, a bit of fire when you're going through different things. So it must be a good video to have this over the next 45 days. Well, yeah, this is my last piece of shit but after that, hopefully we're going to have 45 days of fuel, nutrition, training get our body where we're right for GC50. That's a delightful GoPro. I knew there was a bakery there, I've had a copy there before. I knew there was a bakery there, I've had a copy there before. I've never actually eaten anything there before. So I'm like, I'll get... I didn't feel like a pie or a sausage roll. I'm like, I'll get whatever treat they've got. And there's this thing, you don't know what it is. I'm like, oh, what's that? Oh my God, it's like macadamia, fresh cream, hazelnut and stuff. And good choice, GoPro. Good choice for our last thing for at least 45 days. I've been three out Tim Tam's GoPro. Just before I left, I'm like, this, right, this will be my last thing. I had like half a pack of like dark chocolate Tim Tams in my fridge. And that was like the only piece of shit food I had. Apart from like moussey bars, but it was sugar anyway. But I'm like, all right, I'll try out the Tim Tams. This will be the last thing I'll probably eat today. And right tomorrow we're like full on into this GC50 training. Who throws out half a packet of Tim Tams, go bro. Milk latte. Haven't had one of these for a while. Smashing the long blacks. So we have probably our last almond milk as well for 45 days. The big one's probably going to be drinking GoPro. We've done it before, but I'll probably knock over a bowl of whiskey a week. Probably isn't a good thing. With everything I go through, GoPro, probably relevant. Yes, yeah, so it'd be good to talk to you a week from today. Yeah, our first weekend of not drinking, not eating shit. I'm almost seeing next Saturday morning. I want to try and run 30 k's. I want to go from maybe here, Palm Beach, to Broad Beach and back. So Broad Beach be the start of this GC50. So a bit of a sort of orientation of the area. There and back, that's 30 k's. That's a little more than half the track. But well, I can do that next weekend. It gives me a bit of an idea of okay where we're at. So we'll try some glucose things. A bit of hydration next weekend. That gives us an idea of where we're tracking the 30 k's, knowing that the race will be 50 k's. There'll be a lot of support sort of stuff. So I was looking at it, and it was every three k's is an aid station. So aid station, water, I think it said like bananas and lollies and stuff. 
to my couple hours of googling marathon running and nutrition because I'm so experienced it was saying that every 30 minutes you should drink you know, a cup of water 300 mils but anything over an hour of exercise you need to re replenish your carbs so that's why you have like the gels and stuff there's the quick carbs, bananas, things like that which kind of makes sense so I know when I've done like 15, 20 k's, after like an hour and a half, you feel like you've got no energy. But I was just running, so I wasn't drinking or eating at all. So it'd be good to change it this weekend, like a weekend from today. So we'll see if the nutrition, the water, changes the energy levels. Six, 37 at the time of the race sort of setting yourself these new challenges it's like Goggins or Draper many of those guys I watch a bit it's always what's next so this year's been a been between you and me GoPro a fucking pain with you we've got through it should pass 8 subjects with our masters halfway through our teaching degree on our way to that it's like okay that's done for the year now what we just sit around and chill out no no let's go for a marathon and some that's a challenge we'll see where we're at Maybe next week I might say no, I had pizza Thursday night and a six pack, but whatever. These little videos, it might keep me half honest, so. Creamy treat today, almond milk coffee. Today's the cutoff, we'll get up tomorrow early, we'll go for a run at the gym, make some weight. And next week will be our first week of full on training. 45 days. Before the Gold Coast 50. And in our mind, we're already, already thinking about that moment, visualization. We cross the finish line after running maybe six hours on legs that just stop working. Just push ourselves, push ourselves, get to the finish line. Now you've sort of done something pretty.